Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. I am Chase and I am super excited today. My storage unit friend, he purchases storage units occasionally, has a shop um, just a couple minutes away from my house. Uh, and he said that he just hit the jackpot, he bought a gaming unit. I'm his gaming guy. I'm getting first dibs on everything. He sent me some pictures. I am excited at what is to come. I'm going to bring you guys with me. Stick around for, for this video. It's going to be crazy. Let's do it. Alright guys, so I've taken a few things inside, but all in all, I paid $800 for everything, and I am very, very happy with what I picked up. I showed some footage of the stuff kind of laid out, and I took everything that was on the tables and just a whole bunch of stuff, um, and pretty much went table by table, um, made offers on everything. Um, on a per table basis and he took all my offers and even threw in the gaming computer and knocked off a little bit at the end so it's an excellent excellent purchase the Xbox one the switch and the ps4 are not in there unfortunately a ton of the cases don't have games and he knew that but like this is a whole giant box full of cases and there's a lot of like DS and 3ds and tons of RPGs nice stuff would have been incredible if it was all there but even still, he threw in all the cases for free, so very happy about that. Got a lot of Legos, just collectible toys, comic books, tons and tons of awesome stuff. So it's going to take me a while to go through everything, but I will show you guys, you know, as I go through bin by bin. All right, so I'm home from the storage locker purchase. So basically the guy purchased the storage locker, it was a gaming and nerd themed unit. I purchased the whole thing from him. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what he paid, I assume he probably paid around 100 bucks. I paid him 800 bucks. I think he's very happy and I am also very happy. So I basically went table by table, which I kind of showed you guys footage while I was there. 
and I just purchased by the table. Um, this stuff was on a table that I purchased for 80 bucks, and that table also included like a Wii U and some other stuff. So, kind of amazing. Um, this is just extras that I couldn't fit in the light box, but little things like this I'm discovering are worth some good money. Like, I think this is um, Power Rangers related. And there's a lot of those, these uncommon little toys, which I didn't really know when I was getting into it. Like, this is a Digimon Digivice worth like 30 bucks. Which is just, it's insane. And these are little, like, Power Rangers um, cell phone things. They're worth like 15, 20 bucks a piece. And I've got two of those. There's an iPod. Uh, I think it's a Nano 6 Gen. So obviously that's worth good money. Um, this is a Sony like memory card adapter, I think. I've sold these before. These are worth good money. Yeah, memory card adapter. This is a Rock Band USB. And this is another Power Rangers thing, which I assume is going to be okay. I can't figure that one out yet. There's some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, this is a, I think it's Mega Man related. It's Capcom Pet. These are like 40, 50 bucks a piece. <laughs> like, just insane stuff. And then all sorts of fun little things. I think this has some of the, like, chips that go with these inside of it. It doesn't have Sora's necklace. Then there's some magic cards. Some Redekai. I don't know if those are worth anything. Let me know if you know. And then some Power Rangers swords and stuff. These are another thing. Uh, these are like Ben 10, um, you know, people use them for cosplay and stuff. There's four, three or four of those. And those are probably worth 15, 20 bucks a piece. There's a Bakugan thing. Don't know if that's anything yet. But I wouldn't be surprised if it is. There's a tube of Pogs, Beavis and Butthead, Bobbleheads. Then there's some like movie theater buckets of popcorn. And this has all sorts of little figures, Power Rangers, Transformers inside. So definitely amazing stuff here. Um, the value just seems to keep adding up as I'm going through it. But there's so much more that I have to show you guys. Here is probably, <laughs> definitely, the most exciting table of games. This was insane. I could not believe it when I saw it. But we've got just some beautiful games. I wanted to be sure, um, be sure to be as fair as possible with my offers. Um, and I think he was very pleased. So for this table, I offered him $220. So I paid up a bit for these games, but I think when you see the quality you will understand why and um, still understand that it was an incredible deal. So let's start back here, Epic Mickey Collector's Edition. Um, there's a Game Genie for Sega Genesis on top, a couple sports games. There's Sonic and Knuckles, Mortal Kombat, Power Rangers, Sonic 2, Sonic Spinball, Sonic 3, Echo. NBA Jam, Sonic 1, Tecmo Super Bowl, and on the bottom is Chukan. Some 3DS bases. We got ourselves a blue Game Gear. So that's pretty awesome to see with four Sonic games included. Two Game Boy SPs. So that's pretty beautiful. Love the Game Boy SP. And then a Kirby's Dreamland 3 manual. Uh, obviously, that's a great manual to have. Unfortunately, the game was not included but I was thrilled about the manual and then there was just what probably the most incredible selection of Game Boy games I've seen from like one person's collection especially like basically out in the wild since this was out of a storage unit so we got Pokemon Ruby Leaf Green and Kirby's Pinball Land Final Fantasy Legend Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Ages Castlevania Adventure Zelda DX, Kirby's Dream Land, Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge, Metroid 2, Kirby's Dream Land 2, and then we've got Sword of Mana with the manual and a faceless game. So, amazing selection there. And then we come over 
and see more, including a wireless adapter, Alienator's Evolution, Kid Icarus. And then look at this. Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. Dragon Ball Advance Adventure. Zelda Minish Cap. Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Mega Man Zero. Tales of Fantasia. Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. Another Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2 and 1. Metroid Zero Mission. Zelda Four Swords Metroid Fusion. And Naruto Ninja Council. Everything is authentic and original. Amazing stuff. And then let's go to the Super Nintendo games. Mystic Quest. Bonkers. Super Mario All-Stars plus Mario World. Amazing. Star Fox. Super Metroid. Killer Instinct. Zelda A Link to the Past. Yoshi's Island. And the SNES Super Scope 6. Incredible stuff. I'm just amazed by the great selection of stuff. A couple Game Genies. And then at the bottom is a Super Game Boy. Then we've even got the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D soundtrack. So that's pretty awesome. Below that is a Zelda, like the Zapper Bow game for the Wii. And then some CDs. And then at the bottom, Echo the Dolphin for Dreamcast. Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver for Dreamcast. And Knights on the Sega Saturn. And then, of course, the stack of NES games, which include Metal Gear, TMNT, Double Dragon, Mario, Con Mario Bros. 2, The Gold Cart Zelda, Snake's Revenge, Double Dragon 3, Adventures of Link, Contra, Ghostbusters, Double Dragon 2, Punch-Out, Kirby's Adventure, Roger Rabbit, and Ghostbusters 2. So this entire <laughs> collection of stuff here I paid $220 for. And I couldn't be happier. Incredible selection of games. Amazing, amazing purchase. All from a storage unit. Alright, and that's going to be it for today's video. I've still got a lot more stuff to go through that I will show you guys in a video. And that video is going to come out on Monday. So stay tuned. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss it. There's a lot more good stuff to come. Uh, more games. You can see all the amazing um, empty cases, um, tons of toys, comics, just, man, <laughs> not to mention an Alienware computer. All of that came from this locker. So stay tuned. Be looking out for that video on Monday. And thank you guys for watching today. We'll see you next time. Chase after the right, right.